Hello everyone, Supercrosses MC here, and today I'm going to be showing you a behind the maps. It's sort of like a behind the scenes on stuff, except um, it's a new server I'm, or a series I'm doing where you take famous maps and people who just want to who play them but never really have the time to go around and explore it before their friends want to do something else. I'm here to show you guys like what's going on, what's happening, and like where stuff is. So with the uh, TNT Olympics you have 10 events and there's a lot of them. They're all fun and TNT based as people know. So yeah I screwed that up so um so you have the torch it's netherrack with fire on it then all along the outside you have these columns of iron blocks and then you have the mushrooms so then this is sort of like the main castle area where like say you were gonna enter or do a dramatic entrance you would do it from here cause I mean it's like you're here they should have made the spawn point here but so you come out and then boom you're on the field um so there's that it's pretty much a no bad mushroom no no fall off the edge I want your meat come on come on there go off the edge off the edge I tell you off the edge now don't you try that nope don't you try that with me get off the edge no there we go okay um so like I said it's um just like there's the main entrance area over here you got like a little tunnel off to this it's behind all the bleachers and stuff um so I don't know I'm thinking Ant Venom probably could have added something else back here but um as you can see he just made it a giant green cube that's basically what he spawned in as his base and that's all there is down here so is just green cubeness well green rectangle -ness. so over here you've got little windows that lead into the boating area so say you were doing like PvP here hide and seek something like that which would be a good idea you can just like sort of Maybe if I can get it. Come on. Just go through that. Um, then over here is a place that I've... Okay, yeah, it just leads out from this back area. And then down here, it leads into there. <coughs> okay. So let's see what's behind the bleachers. Okay, yeah, these are the bleachers that lead to the swimming area. As you can see, you have five or s five to seven entrances, I think. Maybe eight. Um, so just if you're going that way. Um, then you've got all the flags. You've got the glass, so it's sort of like a. Uh, sun <coughs> like roof thing um then you got all the flags and TNT 2012 so then you also have the pedestals for when you end the events this is the award ceremony place um and there's like nothing back here just black wool that leads oh okay I didn't even know about that part well, it leads back here, so you can just be going, and then you come up here, and you're on gold, yay. 
And this whole part's made out of obsidian because you, uh. Why are there mine cards in there? Um, so, like, you launch it, redstone, redstone, poof. Because if there wasn't any. If this was, uh. Yeah, there are mine carts under here. In the crap. Where are those mine carts? I hear them. Don't be giving me crap saying there aren't mine carts. Where are they? Aha. What's here? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's the back of the TNT area. I guess. So, and then this is the swimming arena. And all this, this is behind the TNT. And then here's the, uh, gold stuff or the awards ceremony area and then here's the 2012 um so the thing about this is it just would have taken a lot a lot of time to make so a lot of props to um Seth Bling for making this as he did a fantastic job um, just the whole cooperating TNT, incorporating TNT and stuff is just amazing. Then, over here's fence. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that was. Um, and if you want, like, a cool add-on, if you have the time, is, uh, you just, uh, take flint and steel... Um, flint and, what the, dang it, flint and steel, <clears throat> then you go and take netherrack, and, like, all around the iron pillars, you take out the iron, and put in netherrack, and then light it, and then you've got lighted pillars, all around your arena so there's that then here it's just grassy hills that take a corner or just lead off strange area indeed um I never really got what this was for I mean one thing I'm thinking he could have wait is fire spread off oh screw that um, one thing I'm thinking he could have done is, like, added support beams. I mean, just for effect, because, like, if you had this, I don't think it'd be standing up on its own. I mean, just, like, that, and like I said, I would have made the, uh, spawn area over in that back area. So, like, your spawn area is up here. It's a bunch of glass. Where's the glass? Glass. Where'd the glass go? Okay, there it is. So, yeah. Your spawn. Oh, there's where I came through. Me and Jacob. <clears throat> so, yeah, you're just on this extremely large pile of glass blocks let me okay the lag is going to be substantially larger considering it's been a while since I've put it on extreme but this is just to see how far out the uh, glass goes Okay, yeah, no, we're not doing that. And then that's what you do, and then you're just falling, and whoom, everything's here. So, as you can see, I have a sign here. This is the farthest I've made it. 24 blocks. And then, 
This is the farthest back I've made it. 37. That's in Javelin, and it takes concentration. Okay, now to go over the games. In this one, you, um, you place the 6 TNT, which should already be there like that, with the lily pads and water. Then you run, you click these, you sprint, and then you hop in here, and boom, you go flying into the air, and you try to land on this thing. Why didn't those go off? Lily pad, lily pad. There we go. Now I need washer. So yeah, there's that. Hmm. Yeah, the redstone's broken on this one. I did something to it apparently. Okay, now you have this. It's just a large TNT with bedrock platform. It is the pole. You bunch of TNT drops down and you try to stay on the pole as long as you can I'm not that good at it TNT just automatically spawns right here is the long jump which I will clue you into a secret on of how to get good jumps so you sprint jump once jump twice and then when you reach your jump and as you can see, 12 meters, that's a new record. Well, no, 12 meters is my record. So there's that. This, I, I'm i not sure if I downloaded it wrong, but I'm pretty sure TN. So what happens is uh, villagers drop, and you got to use TNT to try and uh, keep them. Wait. Is it TN? No, you have to use your like fist or something to uh, keep them in. So when you go up here, there's all the red stony stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sure like an egg. Oh no, a minecart pops out, lambs, goes, cactus. Huh. I don't know, but I thought TNT was supposed to drop down and kill all the villagers to, like, signify the end of it. I guess not. Over here, you have, um, so a pig drops on the saddle, and you gotta use TNT to try and get through the gates in order, and it's pretty hard. Right here is the high jump, which I completely screwed over just it didn't work and then like I showed you the boats were in one of the areas so now I will show you how to do the th um, TNT hurdles just I mean this is it's fast and it won't take too long and you're going and then what you do is, I don't even bother placing two TNT down, I just place one, and it gets me over pretty easily. Dang it. Not, oh god. No. Okay. It's still water. Okay, I made it. <laughs> okay, well, this was behind the maps, uh, TNT Olympics. So, if you like the video, then please hit that like and that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot, um, just cause, dang, what, why is this not working? Push me up, TNT. Why you no work, TNT? Why you no work? There we go. Okay, well, thanks guys, and I will see you in another edition of Behind the Maps.